Hello there, welcome back to my channel. I'm just popping on here real quick with this video. I know I missed my midweek upload and that's because I have been baking up a storm and I filmed it, that is coming up next. I also have new hair. I have a video coming about that as well next week, but I wanted to be sure to hop on here real quick and let you know that It's the Balm is being restocked this Sunday, December 15th at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern time. And if you're not at all familiar with this, I will leave a couple of videos I've done down in the description box down below. I'll leave those links down there because I give you a little more background information on the company, my connection with the owner, how we got connected. I wanted to hop on here every time they do a restock. These products, literally some of them are sold out within hours. And this will be the final restock of the year. So I typically never tell you to set your alarm clock for anything except for these restocks because you want to be first in line to be able to get the products that you want to order. Now, each time I do one of these videos, I always like to give you a few more updates and testimonials, if you will, of either experiences I've had personally or people that I know have had experiences with the balm and tell you how it has helped them. So I've done that in the past and today I have a couple of new ones. So the first one is my husband and I both actually with the Rose Balm. So I have been testing out a lot of skincare products recently, foundations, primers, and I have crazy sensitive acne prone skin. And so I started having these little breakouts here and there. And every time I do, I pull out the Rose Balm, put that on there. Actually, I'll put it on my whole face at nighttime. And by the next morning, if those spots are not completely gone, they are at least reduced. Like the swelling has gone down, the redness is reduced. And usually within another day or two, they're completely gone. Now, my husband, he came to me several weeks ago and after struggling for days, several days with one of those really nice big red cherry spots on the end of his nose that would not come to a head, but it was just sore and sitting there. He's like, I don't know what to do about this. Should I lance it? What should I do? I said, let's put some rose balm on it. So it was lunchtime. He put it on there. He called me about four or five hours later and said, you will never believe it. But that thing came to a head within that short amount of time. And then we put, we put some of this on it after, uh, for the next day or so. And it healed up so quickly. A couple weeks later, he was suffering with some sciatica and you know, guys think, okay, I don't need to put anything between ice and my skin, right? So he's icing his upper thigh area for about three days. He was doing that. And he comes to me one day and he says, I need some of your balm. And I said, why? What happened? And he said, let me show you. And he had a huge spot like this on his upper thigh where the, the cold had burned his skin and it was hurting. <laughs> so I said, okay, I pulled out the whipped soothe balm and applied it to his skin. And by that evening, it was reduced by half the size. I mean, 50% of it was totally back to normal skin color. And within two days, it was all completely healed. And by just the initial application, the burning sensation was gone. Two weeks ago, a friend of mine, her mother-in-law contacted me and said, Shirley, I had radiation treatment done on my face and she sent me a picture and oh my goodness, this poor lady, her face with the exception of her eye area looked like she had been burned, literally burned. And it was about four days post-procedure and she was not aware that her downtime was going to be like this. And she said, Shirley, I've got some events coming up. I have to be out in public, but I don't want to be seen like this. What can you do? How can you help me? And I said, okay, I'll be down at your house very shortly. So I not only pick, packed up a full coverage foundation from Dalton that I knew would cover whatever was not healed by the time she needed to leave the house, but I took her a bunch of the Soothe Balm. I put it in a container, took this down to her, gave her instructions of how to use it. And along with the discoloration on her face, it was quite uncomfortable for her. I mean, it just, it hurt. And so she put this on that night and immediately texted me and said, Shirley, 
I cannot believe I already feel the results of that. It feels so much better. She said, I feel like it has soothed my skin already. The next day she sent a picture and it was greatly, the redness was greatly reduced just overnight. Two days later when I saw her, and of course she did have makeup on, but I could not even tell that she was having any issues. And she was so impressed. She said, Shirley, how do I order some of this for me and for my friend? And I said, wait for the restock on the 15th. So she, I'm sure will be first in line to pick up some of this this time around. Now, the final testimonial I'll have is what has happened to me, my hands just overnight. So since I've been baking, my hands always get such a workout. I end up with super dry skin, but our weather has been exceptionally dry as well. So I went into this baking week already with drier skin and I got done with all of the baking and wrapping up of everything yesterday and my hands were peeling. You know, this part right here especially. And I had been applying heavy, thick hand cream each night. Nothing was working. <laughs> so I took the Soothe Balm last night and I put that on my hands. And you know how when your hands are so dry and cracked, when you put something moisturizing on, it can have a burning like sensation and actually be painful. This had zero of that. And in fact, my hands immediately felt just soothed. And a couple hours later, I was looking at my hands and I thought, oh my word, the peeling is gone. My skin is feeling slightly closer to normal. So I put a little more on, then I put my hand cream on, went to bed, and this morning my hands felt so much better. As I've been washing my hands throughout the day, I have felt the need to go ahead and put a little more of the Soothe Balm on. So I have a little bit of it on right now, but look at how amazing my hands look. And I'm telling you yesterday, they looked horrible. So I say all that to say this has been kind of my first time where I have really had a lot, like several experiences with the Soothe Balm. And I would say if you are looking to pick up just one balm, I would recommend the Soothe Balm. I feel like this one has worked so well on extreme cases. I feel like it's one that's going to work well on burns. I don't know about you, but because I'm baking and doing things with the oven, I am so prone to burning my hands, my fingers, and I know that this is going to be a great one to have on hand for that and just a number of other skin issues. So that I wanted to share because that's the first time I've really had several instances with the Soothe Balm. But I also wanted to share if you're somebody who is just looking for something that smells really good, like you want to just have something on hand to rub on dry spots, dry feet, whatever, you might want to check out the Trace Dolce's Trio. April was so sweet to send me this trio and oh my word, these all smell like dessert. So the first one is called Snickerdoodle and I'm actually I have to make some snickerdoodles tonight. And let me tell you, this smells exactly like snickerdoodles. It's so delicious, like baked cookies. The second one in there is candy cane. And this is a light candy cane scent, so it's not overpowering, but it definitely has that wonderful peppermint candy scent. And then the other is chocolate souffle. And chocolate is a hard scent to get right, especially if it's artificial. Since this is not artificial, the scent on this is so delicious and souffle. It's like you can, you can just smell that chocolate dessert in here. So those three are definitely worth checking out. And then as I mentioned before, the pumpkin spice one, I love the smell of that. And I also feel like it has some medicinal qualities as well because it has cinnamon and cloves and nutmeg, which are helpful for respiratory things. But also the thing that I am most excited to try this time around is she has a brand new balm. It's called Breathe Easy and she has a children's version and an adult version and it is specifically to help with cold and flu symptoms. And so the ingredients she put in are really interesting, not just eucalyptus and peppermint, but there's tea tree oil, there's cardamom, and she has a couple of other ingredients that I've never heard of, but this is so that you can rub it on the chest, under your nose, on your feet to help alleviate symptoms. And as we're going through cold and flu seasons, just getting going, lots of coughing, lots of that going around, 
I know that this is going to be something that I personally want to have on hand. So I hope that you found this helpful, informational. As always, I will leave down in the description box down below, and I think I'll also pin a comment with the website address and her Instagram handle, the It's the Balm Instagram handle, because on there, there are before and after pictures and testimonials using all of these balms on every type of skin issue from shingles to severe um, dermatitis and all kinds of things. So I will leave both of those links below and my discount code. So I have a discount code. It's Shirley 10. I'll put that across the screen. And she has graciously increased my discount amount to 15% off. So if you use that discount code, you'll get 15% off your entire purchase. She and her husband work this company and they are so good at customer service. So if there's any questions you have, maybe which balm might be good for something, what recommendations or anything like that, reach out to them. They are so prompt in getting right back and responding. They're fast shipping. So if you're hoping to get something before Christmas, I think you're going to be in luck and be able to get whatever you order before Christmas time because they are so quick. So again, set your alarms for Sunday the 15th at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. Hop on there and make sure you pick up at least one jar or two of the It's the Balm. I know that you are going to find it so helpful and useful. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos on baking and hair tutorials and all kinds of fun things to come. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.